Happy Sunday, cocksuckers. This is the Jizz Llama 1000-1. It's very reminiscent of the old uh, SPL Gorillas, which later became the um, BAMF from uh, Power Acoustic. Uh, Epsilon owns owned both brands. They, they shelved the SPL brand, mostly, I think, because it was tough to search on uh, the Internet. So... But uh, it was like SPLUSA.net. But you can look up in the Internet Archive. I'll put a thing to it, too. A uh, little daughter card. Dual big transformers. Um, again, they only need to do about eight, 850. These are probably good for... I've seen some people rate them for 1,000 watts each. So uh, single core inductor. A um, little worried about that, but I think you guys should be okay. And then a shit ton of... Uh, TO220s for the power supply and then uh, the bigger guys for the uh, output. So I don't see any, where's the diodes? They're not obvious sticking out to me. But yeah, that's it, real simple. So, see? 300 chipped, it's meant to replace the uh, 500 slash one, 1000 slash one. JL has a, JL Audio has a very huge army of those in a bunch of boats and you know they just get old and they need replacing and this is an affordable replacement so i like to advertise in the jl forums on facebook and it pisses everybody off to no end so special shout out to george sanchez at uh, gs Ampl amplifier repair who does amplifier repair for jl rockford uh terra amps hertz and audison so Tony Baloney gave him the Hertz Audison account, and uh, I got him a $20,000 account doing repairs for Edge slash Recoil, and he was not so, uh, he thought he got the job on his own. <laughs> nope. Then he was kind of a dick and very, uh, what was it, uh, not so nice uh, To when I asked him for a favor. So I asked him to fix some amps for me. They were kind of junky, and then he bitched about not having parts. I'm like, dude, I don't need this kind of fucking shit. And then um, I came up with a sample of this and posted it, and then also the uh, shark one. Uh, I was like, I promote. I thought I was promoting him, and he's like, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm trying to get the JL account. I can't, you know, I can't be seen with you. I was like, oh, that kind of guy. So uh, the only reason he's really successful is does he have talent? Sure. But mostly it's because he has a monopoly. Nobody else is doing the service work. That's it. So personally, I don't like him. Uh, and I, if I can help it, I'll never do business with him again. But I'll put a post to him, you know, to show. I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm just telling you about my experiences with him. So this is a perfectly... Oh, here's the diode pack. Um, so uh, this is a perfectly good amplifier. Uh, and they've sold thousands of these. Um, I do want to bring back the old... Uh, let's see if I have one. The old SPL Gorilla version, uh, because I have tops made for them that say Gonzo on them. So that was the Gonzo amp that we came out with. I was just buying the ones from uh, SPL, and then sometimes I'd get them powder coated, custom, and then put the board back in, and it would say Gonzo. I got those laser engraved or, and uh, finished from a, a machine shop. They look really fucking tits McGee, and I got a big stack of like 50 or 100 of them. So and I I, I can't use them because they phased out that amplifier. So, but, um, that's it. This is the review. It does a good job. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, the ones that we tested, uh, I will do a dyno on this. So the ones that we tested before they were doing six, 1659, uh, at one ohm, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> don't take my word for it. Uh, we're going to do the dyno, uh, using the, I think the AMM, whatever, one of Steve Mead's uh, Tony's devices at recoil. So, and we'll also do the dyno for the 1200.1. <clears throat> That's it. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Fuck you, George.